Hello friends, welcome back. It is rainy and cool here in Washington State and definitely feeling like fall. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you a couple of our favorite fall dishes. So cozy up and let's get started. So the first item on our menu tonight is sweet potato acorn squash soup. This is so delicious, especially on cold, rainy days. Um, I would definitely recommend roast your vegetables. It just gives it such a rich flavor that caramelized, especially the onions and the garlic. Now, I will say that I didn't have garlic cloves, so I used a minced garlic, but I would, I would suggest to you use the garlic cloves and roast them. Of course you can boil your vegetables or cook them in the microwave, but they're just not gonna have as much flavor as when you roast them in the oven. So I'm just coating them with a little olive oil and the seasonings we like. Um, of course my recipes for all of these dishes will be in the description box below, but I would say use the seasonings that you and your family like. Um, these are just what we like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my quartered onions underneath the acorn squash. They're a little bit more delicate and that's just gonna protect them from burning. Um, everything gets caramelized and just so, so yummy and adds so much flavor to this dish. So I'm just gonna put them in the oven for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. When they're done and come out, I do let them cool off and I'm going to scrape out all of the meat out of all the veggies and put them in a blender and blend them with about two cups of chicken broth and that's just gonna make it nice and smooth and creamy and then I'm gonna add it to a stock pot with about two more cups of chicken broth and a cup and a half of coconut milk. So obviously you can use whatever kind of milk you like but I will say that the coconut milk really brings out the flavor in the sweet potato. It's so, so worth it. So for our next item on the menu, we're going to be making a smoky stuffed zucchini boat. I so love zucchini boats. I it doesn't matter what time of year it is. I love this. My kids grew up eating this exact same recipe because I haven't changed it in years. I love it so much. So I've seasoned my water and I'm going to boil my zucchini until it is soft and easy to cut with a, a fork. So I'm also cutting up veggies and cooking them in a little bit of butter. And I'm also making some rice and cooking some smoky turkey sausage. So when everything is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually only gonna use half of that sausage. And I'm gonna cut it up into bite-sized pieces and put it in a bowl. I'm gonna mix that with the rice and the veggies and some cream of celery soup and some more coconut milk. So again, you can use whatever kind of milk you like and you can use whatever creamed soup you like too. I'm, I'm adding uh, cream of celery, but you could use mushroom or cream of chicken. Um, but yeah, you just mix that up. And also, if you want more of a smoky flavor, add just about half of a teaspoon of liquid smoke and that will really amp that smoky flavor. So I'm gonna top my zucchini boats off with fresh grated Parmesan. But another good cheese to put on here would be a smoky cheddar and just really amp that flavor. So I'm just gonna pop these in a 350 oven for maybe about 20 minutes, just enough to warm it through and melt that cheese on top. So for dessert, we're gonna be having a sweet potato cinnamon roll cake with a cream cheese glaze. This is so decadent and rich. So be aware when you cut yourself a piece, it is rich. So yeah, I'm gonna make sure everything is sifted well and blended well together. And 
course I do all of the dry ingredients first then I'll add my milk and eggs and such to that so kind of one ingredient at a time my sweet potatoes once they're soft I'm gonna actually use a potato masher so you could throw them in the food processor if you want them really smooth I actually like them just a little bit lumpy I don't know if that's the right term for it but a little bit chunky I guess I like to see my sweet potatoes in there and get little bites of them but you can definitely blend it until they're really smooth and just flow right into that batter So at this point I'm making like a topping that goes on the cake. You kind of swirl it in before you bake. I always end up with extra so don't plan on using all of this. Um, you can save it and put it on ice cream or you can add more on your cake as you slice a piece. Um, but yeah I always end up with extra. So I'm just going to put a little of this cinnamon on there and then I'm gonna swirl it in. I love cinnamon. Uh, my husband does not as much, but he does eat whatever I put in front of him and he always says he loves it. But yeah, so definitely add as much cinnamon as you like. So at this point I'm making a glaze that's gonna go on top and you don't have to use a glaze. Actually, I called my daughter and asked her which would be better because I have a variety of fall flavored buttercreams that I could have used. But yeah, the glaze is just perfect for a cinnamon roll cake. To me, I like a glaze on a cinnamon roll. So that's why I chose this. I'm also gonna top it with some crushed walnuts or chopped walnuts you could use pecans or any nut that you choose but this is just how we like it okay dinner is ready and I did make some cornbread to go on the side of our soup and uh, my husband likes honey butter to put on his cornbread so that's what we had this is the perfect fall menu it's warm and cozy and filling and yeah this soup is actually the perfect soup to take to any sort of gathering like a church potluck or some sort of fall get together and the sweet potato cinnamon roll cake as well that's something that most people wouldn't think to bring, but it is such a delicious dessert and you feel like you're eating something special for the season. So anyway, I hope you guys like these recipes. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.